Okay, let's find the square root of 2,174. So I can see this is a two digit root. So I have my binomial square here. And the first square I need to build is out of hundreds. So let's start that. Do some exchanging. enough to build out more. So we built the four square, which equals 16. So we had 21 hundreds. We used 16. We should have five left, and we do. So let's bring down our tens, and we have two rectangles to build with 57 tens. We built those two rectangles of four times seven. So let's go ahead and write that out here. That's two rectangles of four times seven, which equals 56. We had 57, we used 56. We have one left. Let's bring down our fours to, and let's start building our unit square. I am beginning to see a problem here. I don't think I have enough beads or pegs to build that square. Well, let me show you something. We have to backtrack a little bit here. We need to pull a layer off of both rectangles. We just can't build them that far. So instead of two four times seven rectangles, it's two four times six rectangles. And that gives us 48, which means we should have 94 Uh, units left to share out. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and there's 94. Okay, now I can do some exchanging and finish this square. Right, we were able to build the square of six. So we had 94 10, uh, units, we used 50, we used 36, so we should have 58 left, which we do. So the square root of 2,174 is 46 with a remainder of 58. Now you can find the square root of any number, but the one thing to remember is you can backtrack on rectangles, but you can never backtrack on a square. So sometimes you might have to backtrack on the rectangles to finish building squares, but once a square is built, there's no backtracking. So let's do some more square root. 